walking up to scenes like this that are keeping parents up at night. Walgreens, CVS, Target, Sam's, Costco, all of those, and they're all out of stock or hard to get. Julia Frankie lives in Oviedo and tells me her whole family is on the hunt for formula for her four-month-old son, Mason, because of the current shortage. I actually just drove 20 minutes away from my house last night to get a small can of formula for him. Julia started Mason on Similac formula at two months old because her breast milk was in short supply. But then a recall on Similac and other formulas combined with supply chain issues, exacerbating the shortage. It's a lot of anxiety wondering if you're going to be able to continue to feed your kid. This is for gassy babies. Dr. Selma Elfaki, owner of Nona Pediatric Center, says families should check with their pediatrician since they can get samples shipped. And another piece of advice? A lot of store brands carry the exact same formulas, and that's what maybe a lot of parents are not aware of. Meanwhile, parents may wonder if they can dilute their formula so it lasts longer. Elfaki weighs in. Absolute no, no, he's diluting formula. When you dilute the formula, and I have seen this, um, the babies end up getting too much water, and they can end up having a low salt in their body, leading to seizures. Dr. Elfaki also advises against making your own formula, using goat's milk or importing concoctions found online. This, as parents like Julia are just trying to take it day by day. It's kind of like with COVID, with the hand sanitizer and toilet paper and all that kind of stuff. It seems like it's starting to move that direction with formula now with no end of the shortage in sight. Empty shelves. This is really scary and worried parents. A couple stores we've been in we have not had it. and We've had to go to the next location. They are looking for baby formula and not finding it, at least not easily. I'm myself am down to one can of formula. At the end of April, nearly 40% of popular baby formulas were sold out across the U.S. That's up from 31% two weeks before. The shortage is getting worse. This is a pain in the butt to find. Baby formula, like many things, has been affected by supply chain issues. Making it worse, the Abbott Nutrition Plant in Sturgis, Michigan, one of the largest in the country, has been shuttered for months. The company issued a voluntary recall of multiple powder baby formulas in February and halted production. The FDA is investigating conditions at the factory. In a statement to NBC, Abbott in part says it is implementing corrective actions and enhancements and working on resuming operations. Meantime, retailers Target, Walgreens, and CVS are limiting the amount of baby formula products that can be bought. CVS is telling its customers they can only buy three baby formula products in one purchase. Pediatricians have some safety tips. Don't dilute formula. There's too much water. Um, babies can't, um, their kidneys are not mature enough to process that water, and that can lead to serious health consequences. Consider trying other brands. Like most babies will adjust and end up doing just as well on a different brand of formula. Make sure the formula has been stored properly and is not expired. For people who need special formula because of medical conditions, including adults, check in with your doctor. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News.